Basically, one of the things I was planning to do, but it remained an unfulfilled desire to do that, was uploading a controversial video centered around the case of EDP 445. After that, I realized that there's cancel culture everywhere. Two major YouTubers, Drug Truth, also known as My Opinion Student 33, or Mr. Opinion Student 33, because he has multiple channels. And the second YouTuber, who's important, would be Matt Simon. Both of them all say that EDP is a coward, or a P-U-S-S-Y. I decided decide to spell that, the P word out, instead of actually saying it, because I don't want my video to be recorded or taken down. They all say EDP is a coward, who won't do anything in, in real life. But he's all bark and no bite. He won't do anything in real life. These are the words that are coming out of the mouth of Matt Simon and Chuck Swift. My rebuttal to that. If this is the case, then how is EDP a danger to minors? How is he a threat to minors if he's not going to do anything in real life? If he's a coward? If he's just too weak? Another thing, two other things worth thinking about related to this whole EDP being a threat to minors. First of all, he's so unhealthy, sick, overweight, and obese, and fat. God knows how, the devil, the devil knows how much blood sugar and body fat is in that man's body, in that human being's body. And he hasn't shown any signs of deciding to take his health more seriously or losing weight. One year before 2021, in 2020, he made a live stream where he said he was going to do no fat because there was something wrong with his penance, pelvis, etc. After the, the meeting with the doctor where he discovered there was something wrong with his manhood, with his balls, with his scrotum, he just decided to continuously release his load and master it. He continued to pursue these detrimental hobbies that lead him down a worse path and just continue to inflict self-harm. EDP is a man that is slowly committing suicide, slowly killing himself, dragging the process out in a longer way based on what he eats, drinks, and what he does to his body. So, so there are two things that are important. Allow me to explain. Realistically, you would expect a content creator who gained 2 million subscribers or 20 million subscribers of EDP to be very intelligent and smart. So maybe he is smart, but his actions speak otherwise. His actions speak louder than his words. He continues to see relationships with underage people who are a fraction of his age. Most of them are 11 or 12 or 13, which is 30 percent, 40 percent of his age. He's in his 30. By being exposed multiple times, the four CC unit and Chet Goldstein, both of them made that video about him. They recorded him, they caught him. But six times before that, there were incidents where he got caught. I tell you that he continues to do it. It's like either a hobby for him that he can't stop doing, he has an urge to do it, or maybe after he lost his YouTube channel, he continued to do it maybe ten more times. You would think that he learned his lesson to know. He did not learn his lesson. He continues to do it. Either he was doing it on purpose to get attention. It might be seen as smart. It can also be seen as stupid because that means he's basically incriminating himself, waiting for a chance to either get killed or castrated, lynched, hung, or murdered or get arrested. There's also the other possibility that he's not doing it on purpose. He's doing it because he simply cannot physically stop. But the thing is, even though he tried to meet up with minors, he never touched them in real life. Meaning that he does not have the balls, the courage, or the guts to go through with the crime fully or completely. Well, let me sum up. He's too much of a coward to actually inflict pain and damage to minor. Second of all, he's too unhealthy, unfit, and fat to even move out of his house or his bed or even walk around for like 10 minutes. Physically, he's not a threat to minor. Third of all, he's not wise enough to trick a minor or trap a minor. He's not intelligent enough to do that. He continues to make the same mistakes, which is evidence of him incriminating himself and just damaging himself. He's only a threat to himself instead of a threat to minors. The only thing you really have to worry about as a parent or as a human being would be his firearms, because he's an owner of multiple firearms. He has multiple guns. That's the only thing that is dangerous about him. Nothing else is dangerous about him. That's a fact. So if you do not get it by now, then allow me to repeat it as quick as I can. First, EDP is not brave enough to be a threat to minors. Second, he's not intelligent enough to be dangerous to minors. Third, he is not physically fit enough. He's clearly an unhealthy and fat walrus. He can't even get out of his room. How is this man a threat to any minors?